emplacement of the magma within the rocks causes the land to rise and it lifts the ground and we can measure that lifting. We have in this uh, uh, area of the Reckonist Peninsula of Iceland, a huge concentration of these uh, GPS uh, measurement stations and two of them, Skipatsky Heron and the Sorsengi, are closest and more important in that case for our measurements. Previous eruption happened like this after a while uh, in October and November. November 20th, we had this eruption. In this time, it seems that the sourcing GPS data shows the land rise in the sourcing is not as much as what it was in the past. But in this Kipatskit Heron, we have already reached that threshold. So we may have eruption, which is fed by that uh, part of the uh, magma reservoir closer to the Grindavik, which makes that area the most likely pathway for the magma through the seals and the dikes to the surface, to the fissures, that we know that already exists there. And uh, the uh, Swarsengi uh, data shows that that area has not reached the level that we had in the previous eruption. If I want to show it on the uh, ground, this is the aerial view of that area. This is the Grindavik Rift Valley. This is the name I've given to the area. And this is the likely location where we had that uh, previous phreatic uh, eruption through a big crack. Uh, through the, in the Hagerfell. The likely position in the previous eruption, which was into the north, will be less likely in here. And uh, the location, again, on this satellite image by the Sentinel uh, uh, camera, shows that Grindavik, Sorsengi, and Skipatskis, Heron, and this is the location of the fissure, and the north direction is there. And this is the most likely path, one of the more likely path of the uh, uh, magma flow to reach the surface. This is the likely location that we had in the previous past eruption, and this is one of the likely places for this eruption. So, where I'm still standing by the uh, my previous prediction for the 23rd of the November 2025, and the location is most likely to be more southerly this time than the previous one, which was to the north. And 23rd of the November is not far, it's only probably around a few days, weeks, and uh, you can see the original prediction of me in the previous videos. Seventh eruption in the Swarsengi volcanic system happened as I predicted, 21st to 23rd, and it happened in 21st of the November, like this. And within a few days, we could see the evidence for the accumulation of the magma within the earth crust, uh, showing the land is rising, magma is accumulating, entering the reservoir. The pattern of each eruption is a slightly different from the previous ones. As you can see here, this gives us a clue about the shape and the location and the pathways of the magma for each eruption. They're not exactly the same. And this is what I think is happening. Each eruption creates its own pathway. Although they're very closely spaced, but they're not the same. If they were the same, we would have seen exactly the same pattern. We don't see that. They are different. The pathways especially are different. We see evidence, of course, during the erupt before the eruptions and during it in our boreholes in the Sorsengi. We see the gases on top of the solid parts of the magma. And now, based on the land uplift, we can actually predict the next eruption. We extrapolate uh, the curve, which is uh, starting now uh, from the 21st of the November. We can see that and extend it to December. And when we do that, we see that 96 days from the moment of the eruption up to now, we expect the next eruption. That will be 23rd of the February 2025. That is my prediction. And uh, this is based on the models that we have for the G from the GPS data. Something like this we expect in February. Of 
course, like many other things in science, you cannot be 100% sure. There is always a level of uncertainty. But in the past, I have been correct on most of my predictions. And this one may be one of those ones also. And it's quite possible actually to be one of these. We have seen this pattern before and it is just repeating itself. We remember that in this kind of systems which erupt consequently every month or every few years, this may last for a while. 10 years is the time we know for the Kreflov fires. This may happen again and go for a while. You can see actually the crack in the ground, the fissure as we call it, opening up and moving along the ground. And you can see this here, the passage of the magma opening the earth, splitting it and then erupting as the fissure extends toward the direction. It's a pa butterfly pattern as we call it. It extends toward the south and the north in this case near the town of the Grindavik and it may go on for a while. We're expecting this to happen again, and I'm predicting it for the 23rd of the February 2025. Let's wait and see. This will not be a long wait. It's just 96 days from the day that the accumulation of the magma in the sourcing volcanic system started. And from that time we count, and it's a countdown. 96 days, wait and see.